everyone. Welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air. This is the place to come when you want to have some fun. My name is Rebecca. Now we all know a friend is a very special gift, especially one that will stick with you through the good times and the bad times. Do you have a friend like that? Well, yesterday we started learning about a very special friendship between a spider and a pig. Perhaps that sounds like a strange friendship, but it was one that brought a lot of joy to the pig Wilbur. Well, today's lesson is called Charlotte's Web. Yes, we are talking about the book Charlotte's Web. And here are a few phrases that we are going to talk about today. First, wait out. What does it mean to wait something out? You will find out. And the next phrase, to desert. Okay, friends, open up your magazines and let's begin. Charlotte's Web. Zuckerman decides to take Wilbur to the county fair, and Charlotte and a rat named Templeton accompany him. While Wilbur doesn't win a blue ribbon at the fair, the judges still award him a special prize. Wilbur is so proud and will, in all likelihood, never become ham or bacon. By this time, Charlotte is dying. Because barn spiders don't live very long. She makes her egg sack and lays 514 eggs in it. Heartbroken, Wilbur insists on taking her egg sack back with him to the farm. Now, at the end of yesterday's lesson, we learned that it was kind of a miracle because the spider Charlotte had. Woven, she weaved some words of praise of Wilbur into her web, and everyone was amazed. So today, we learned that Zuckerman decides to take Wilbur to the county fair, and Charlotte and a rat named named Templeton accompany him. That's right. Okay, so uh, Zuckerman has gotten pretty smart. He realizes that. Wilbur's pretty popular. Perhaps he could even make some money off of Wilbur if he shows him off. Something like that. He wants to expose him even more to the public, okay? So uh, the rat accompanies Wilbur. While Wilbur doesn't win a blue ribbon at the fair, the judges still award him a special prize. Now we want to take a look at something that maybe you're not familiar with. You're familiar with different kinds of prizes, but are you familiar with a blue ribbon? Hmm, that's a very good question. Question. Now, when we talk about a blue ribbon, that usually refers to first place. So, if someone says, "Oh, yeah, I got a blue ribbon at the county fair," they're most likely saying that they got first place. Yeah, exactly. And so, the idea of a blue ribbon is you're the best. Okay.、Um, now, there are different. Kinds of prizes, like a trophy, like at the Oscars, someone actually gets a statue, a miniature statue of Oscar, right? The trophy. At other like races, you might get a medal, you know, gold, silver, bronze medal. So, Rebecca,、um, for a competition of your choice, what would you rather get? A trophy, like the Oscar,、hmm. a medal, or a ribbon? That's a very good question. I probably would like to get a medal. Yeah, the medal. I yes, I think I would like to get a medal. I've gotten ribbons before. I've gotten trophies before for different sports、mm -hmm. I've done, specifically swimming and Irish dancing. And I think that I would go for the medal. You know, I think I would too. Something solid to hold on to、mm -hmm. and maybe hang somewhere.、Um, but at any rate, all of these prizes are excellent, and they represent the good job. That you did. So here at this fair, it is a blue ribbon that is given to the first place. Wilbur didn't get the blue ribbon, but Wilbur is so proud and will, in all likelihood, never become ham or bacon. That means he probably won't be slaughtered. That's right, because who wants to slaughter a famous pig or a pig that is winning prizes at the county fair? Right. Well, we continue on by this time. By what time? Well, by the time Wilbur was at the county fair and got his not the blue ribbon, but got a prize of some sort, Charlotte is dying because barn spiders don't live very long. Now, let me tell you something, Gabe. 
when I watched this movie when I was just a kid yeah. and I saw Charlotte dying, I, I actually felt really sad. I didn't understand it was because barn spiders just don't live long. I thought maybe she was really sick or something. Yeah, I remember that was pretty sad for me too. I was a kid and I think I was almost crying as she was singing, Mother Earth and Father Time. Yes, it was actually very, very sad. Well, you know, that is how Wilbur is feeling, right? We read, she makes her egg sack and lays 514 eggs in it. Now, usually I don't like spider egg sacks, but in the context of the story, it actually makes me feel good that she left some eggs behind. <laughs> You're right. I totally agree. Something like the spider and this egg sack in this picture freak me out. I am super scared. I, I'm sorry for people who love spiders and don't like to kill creatures. If I see a spider, actually I've done this before. I've seen a spider and I saw the egg sack that was underneath and I, I really, I just, I had to kill it. It was in the hallway of our apartment. That spider could have gone into anybody's apartment and laid tons of little spiders. Okay, Anyway, I apologize for anybody who loves spiders, but there, that's what it is, mm -hmm. a spider and an egg sack, uh, which I don't like. Right. Well, we read here, heartbroken, Wilbur insists on taking her egg sack back with him to the farm. Now, we want to take a look at this word, insist, or to insist upon doing something. This just means that you firmly say or demand something, especially when other people around you might not agree. For sure. And uh, it could be insisting on doing something right when everybody wants to do something wrong. It could also be that you want to be the one to do something good and maybe others want to do the same thing. Maybe dad insisted on paying for the meal, even though I said, hey, I want to pay for it. No, he insisted. He, he said, I insist. Let me treat you. That's right. Now, earlier, we did talk a little bit about a blue ribbon. Well, it's time for us to talk more about this in the InfoCloud. Info Welcome to InfoCloud, everyone. Today, let's talk about winning a blue ribbon or the first prize for something. This makes me think of the fairs I went to as a kid, where there are a lot of competitions from making the best pie to raising the biggest cow. Exactly. And while different competitions might use different colors for different awards, a blue ribbon usually means first place. Although it can mean highest quality, sometimes it also means that something exceeds certain standards. You might hear blue ribbon used as an adjective to describe something using a hyphen, a blue ribbon pie, for example. That means that you think that something is worth winning first place. So a blue ribbon pie would be especially delicious. Sometimes you see this used to describe a group of experts. This means a group of people has the highest qualifications. So a blue ribbon panel or a blue ribbon commission would be a group of people who are highly regarded as experts in a certain field. The Convention on Internet Security featured a blue ribbon panel of experts from around the world. So this means that if I am attending this convention, I will have the chance to hear from experts in a question and answer session. Hey everyone, welcome back to Studio Classroom. Okay, let's go over some of the characters from today's lesson, Charlotte's Web. We have Zuckerman, Templeton, Charlotte, and Wilbur. Now, of course, we learned that Charlotte, the barn spider, is dying. This is actually really, really, really sad because Wilbur and Charlotte are really good friends. Okay, we have more to learn about this story, so let's get back to our lesson. Charlotte's Web Wilbur promises Templeton anything he wants to bring him the sack from where it hangs. Wilbur takes the sack back to the farm with him and waits out the winter. He is delighted when the tiny spiders hatch in the spring. He's devastated, however, when they all seem to be leaving him. 
but three remain and spin their webs in Charlotte's old doorway. Wilbur names one Nellie, and the other two name themselves Joy and Arania. Wilbur will have new friends each year from Charlotte's descendants and never be friendless again. Well, let's see what happens. Now, we know that Wilbur insisted upon taking this egg sack with him back to the farm, and we read Wilbur promises Templeton anything he wants to bring him the sack from where it hangs. That's a pretty big promise, and I guess this egg sack is very important to Wilbur. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, Wilbur was a runt pig himself,、um, almost killed by his owner because he was a runt. And so he has a special place in his heart for even the last and the tiniest and the weakest of those spiders. Perhaps that's why he even remembers the exact number, 514. Wilbur takes the sack back to the farm with him and waits out the winter. Now, what does it mean to? Wait out something. When you wait out something, this just means that you wait until something unpleasant has ended. So they're waiting, he's waiting for the winter to end.、Um, speaking of winter, winter is a part of the climate, of course, in every country all around the world. And of course, there's weather, there's good weather, there's nasty weather. Sometimes you need to wait out the weather before you get on the road. Maybe it's really bad outside and it's kind of dangerous. Wait a little bit. We might say you're waiting out the weather. That's right. So, well, he waited out the winter, and we read he is delighted when the tiny spiders hatch in the spring. He's devastated, however, when they all seem to be leaving him. Now, there's a word that we want to talk about that doesn't appear in the lesson, the lesson but it is the word desert. I think that he's feeling a little deserted. Now, if you desert someone or something, that just means that you leave them behind without help or you leave them in a very difficult situation. Yeah, it's kind of like that word abandoned, right?、Um, so you notice it's spelled exactly the same way as desert, and that's because in a desert it seems like there's no life. It seems like everybody has deserted that place. Well, that's one way to remember it. You could feel deserted.、Um, this place looks deserted. It looks like people used to live here, but nobody lives in this town anymore. There are different ways to use that word. Well, I would say that Wilbur at this particular time def- definitely feels like everyone has deserted him. And if you feel deserted, well, <laughs> it can be rather sad and lonely. But I think the key word there, Rebecca, is the word feel. Because、mm. I think that these spiders actually love him. They care for Wilbur. But it's in their nature not just to stay in one place. So they're not just leaving him because they don't like him. That's right. But we learned something interesting. But three remain and spin their web in Charlotte's old doorway. We have、uh, Wilbur names one Nellie. Oh, that's a cute name. And the other two name themselves Joy and Arania. You know, I really like this name, and I think it's clever of the、mm-hmm. author, E.B. White. Arania, well, you know, a spider is a kind of creature we call an arachnid, A R A C H N I D. So, Arania is a very appropriate name for a spider. <laughs> and we read Wilbur will have new friends each year from Charlotte's descendants and never be friendless again. What a great way to end the story. Well, a great way to end our lesson is with a, a review, review skit. skit. Once upon a time, There was. There was a beautiful princess. No, once upon a time there was a spider. Ew! I don't like spiders. The spider's name was Charlotte, and she was a loyal friend. Ew! Who wants a spider for a friend? Wilbur. He was a lonely pig. <laughs> A story about a pig and a spider. Yes, a story about loyalty, friendship, and death. <sighs> This doesn't sound good. Well, it is. Wilbur was a runt, and he was going to be killed. Ah,、uh, not good. But the farmer's little girl pleads for the piglet's life. So the farmer's little girl. 
saved Wilbur? Yes, and she takes good care of him. But he grows too big, and he's sold to the girl's uncle. Nice, and they live happily ever after. No, Wilbur is snubbed by the other animals and longs for a. Friend. Oh, is that when the spider comes in? Yes, Charlotte、oh! befriends Wilbur. Oh, <laughs> hi, Wilbur. <laughs> Later, I mean Charlotte. Charlotte. Later, to Wilbur's horror, he discovers he's being raised for slaughter. That's horrible. Ah,、oh, yes, but. Charlotte saves him. Hey, how can a spider save a pig? She wove words of praise about Wilbur into her web. Really? Wow! Like that's amazing. Yes, it is. And Wilbur became famous and won a prize at the fair. Yay! But, but, but what? <sighs> Charlotte. Died because barn spiders don't live very long. Wilbur was heartbroken. Oh, so am I. And I don't even like spiders. Well, there is some good news. What good news? The next spring, hundreds of tiny spiders hatched. Ooh, Charlotte's babies. That's right. <sighs> But most of them left Wilbur. Oh, was Wilbur devastated? Yes, but not for long, because three spiders remained and spun webs in Charlotte's old doorway. Yay! And Wilbur had friends again. Yes, friends for life. Yay! That's a nice story. But I still don't like spiders. Oh well, I do like Spider-Man. <laughs> What a happy ending to a relatively sad story. Now we know that Charlotte the spider died, and of course, poor Wilbur, he was heartbroken. But guess what? He made some new friends. He made some new friends from Charlotte's descendants, and. He believes that he will never be friendless again. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time right here on Good Friend Lasts a Lifetime.